What up guys, this is GamerStyle808 and I'm here to bring you guys Highlight Reaction The Philadelphia 76ers versus the Memphis Grizzlies The quote unquote future versus the grind house The old house The OG niggas What did Tony Allen sign? I don't know, did he resign with them? I don't know, but whatever Man, I'm going to keep this shit real. Because a lot of you niggas disrespecting me in my old videos. If I see something I don't like, I'm going to trash the franchise. From the water boy all the way up to the owner. Especially with these 76ers. Because I got a gripe with this organization. I've been waiting, waiting for them to actually do something and start winning. But let's get to the highlight video, man. We got some rookies to watch. And yes, I'm talking about in B2. Totally preseason, but with pent up demand for 76ers basketball, a good crowd expected tonight at Wells Fargo Center. Speaking of pent up, Ben Simmons will be making his preseason NBA debut after sitting out a year with a broken foot. He'll see time with another top pick in the NBA draft. The University of Washington's Markel Fultz. Big crowds expected all year long for the Sixers tonight. Let's get it. Let's get it, bitch. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Shit, I might need my glass for this one. Hold on. Hold on a minute. That nigga's strong. Damn, he buff as hell. They need Reddick. They definitely need Reddick. Fuck. Hold on. Let me talk about Parsons for a minute. A lot of you... Let me take this shit off. A lot of you motherfuckers always complain about black athletes signing these huge contracts and then getting injured. And then you guys trash them for the rest of their lives. Even on to their broadcasting careers. This nigga right here, Chandler Parsons, signed a $90 million contract this nigga ain't done shit for this organization. They've been looking for a sharp shooter for God knows how long. They went and signed Mike Miller washed ass. No disrespect to him, but he was washed when they signed him. That is how desperate they were for a three-point shooter. They finally got him, and the motherfucker turned out to be made out of glass. That's how weak he is. All he does is do underwear commercials, and that's about it. He's whack. And I don't see all of you basketball fans, NBA fans, trashing him for not playing a minute. And he gets a lot of money. A lo they gave him max. This is max when it was max. I know 90 million looks weak right now, but when they gave him that max, it was the max. Motherfucker, they paid him more than Klay Thompson got paid. So what's up? What's up, Memphis fans? What, well, y'all okay with this nigga just getting paid, not doing shit? Only showing up in suits. That's it. Y'all ain't gonna trash him. What about the rest of the NBA? Let me keep watching this shit, man. Hey. And it's right after some slick more methodical basketball. They're trying to push this even on mix. Simmons has a pretty look combining that time. That's able to pick apart defense. Covington hits for three. And a nice unselfish play that he's Pass. 
Damn. Damn, Okafor looked different. Damn, Simmons dropped that nigga. Great guy. Who cares? Bruh. Damn, it's so quiet in here. Damn. What's up, Philly? I know it's a preseason game, but come on. Y'all got Ben Simmons and Mark Markel Fultz back. Turn up. Y'all more hype for Oko for it. Oh, shit. Shout out to JJ Reddick, man. How much is he getting? 30 million? You definitely deserve that shit. JJ Reddick deserves that money. And the 76ers needed him desperately. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? He was wasted on the trash clippers. I keep saying. Wow. The chemistry. The Grizzlies got chemistry, man. Shit. Get that shit out of here, nigga. That is how you go in. Be diving on the floor now if you're like a Sixers player. Oh, they got Justin Anderson. What did Dallas like give up on him? Damn, man, I haven't been paying attention to these, you know, type of players. You know, during free agency. Shit. I guess Carlisle was like, nah, you're not good enough. Just because you got a. With, into a scuffle with KD, that don't make you legit, my nigga. <laughs> they got Humphreys. Man. How the fuck did I miss these signings? Oh. Did he steal the ball? TJ McConnell, that's my favorite Sixers player, man. 
He's the only guy that actually plays. Play some defense Sixers, man. What the fuck? Y'all got a bunch of young guys. They're not even running back on defense. What are they saving up for? They're running around here that they lead offensively, man. Get your weight up, my nigga. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Oh, that looked disgusting. Oh shit. Slam it, man. I want to hear that blip sound. Mm. Man, I've been watching these highlights for like so long. I did not see one single play that's being pl an actual play, a pick and roll or pick and pop. Anybody setting screens. Like, what the fuck? I know it's like a highlight video, but I'm seeing a lot of people just bringing the ball up the court and then... Just shooting it like what the fuck. There go the franchise player. Joel Embiid. Mr. I do everything but actually play in the game. Um what should I say? The Grizzlies look like they got their shit together in terms of chemistry, passing. I've seen a lot of like quick passes between their between their players. Some players that I did not recognize, so I need to get my shit together and pay attention to free agency a little more. I was surprised when I see some players in other teams. I thought Justin Anderson like held some weight over on Dallas since they were riding for him so fucking hard. But like two years ago, I think. He turned out to be whack. They didn't care. Alright, whatever. Um, Sixers. Now, y'all have been losing a lot over the past couple of years, right? Y'all been calling it the process. They got Sam Hinkie the fuck out of there. I don't know if it was a conspiracy. You know, NBA, a lot of these NBA reporters were, and analysts were saying that, oh, you know, the NBA got involved. They got him out of there. I don't give a fuck. There's one constant in all of this. Your owner. What's his name? Josh Harris? Whatever the fuck his name is. He looks like fucking... I <laughs> well, hold on, man. Hold on. Let me get back on this. That nigga right there. He is the one responsible for all of this. He owns this franchise. I'm pretty sure he gets embarrassed every now and then when his buddies tell him, hey, man, how are you t your team doing, you know? Regardless of, you know, how you f how the fan feels, like, at the end of the day, this is a mark on him, the person, because an NBA team is a business, and when it's losing money, it is hurting his pocket as well. So now that he's got this roster, there's a bunch of guys on there that are still rookies that were drafted, like, years ago. And I'm not just talking about the ones that didn't play. I'm talking about a guy like Jaleel Okafor. I look at him and I'm just like, why is he still there? Why haven't they traded him? Like, what the fuck? Like, they should have traded him on draft day. If you're going to lose regardless, like, I don't understand how you draft all of these centers back to back to back. If your plan is to lose, just dra trade them when they're fresh. When their value is at, like... I don't want to say at zero, when, but when it's like fresh. It's like when you buy something new. And if you return it that exact same minute as soon as you swiped your card. 
If you return it, it's good as new. But when you wait long enough and you go back to the store, the store is going to be like, man, I don't know, man. I don't think you can return this. Now it's going to be harder to trade a guy like him. I don't know. Like, people keep saying that they're the future. I think watching them will be entertaining as long as they remain healthy. But this team is like, man, they've been an embarrassment to the NBA and to the league. Even worse than the Charlotte, what were they, the Bobcats at the time? Yeah, the Bobcats. They are worse than the Bobcats to me. You're a huge market city. And you allow this type of fuckery to happen for so long. As I'm talking to the NBA fan right now. That Philadelphia Six fan. You allowed this bullshit to happen for so long. That is whack. Completely whack. Y'all need to get your shit together. As fans. You need to be smart fans. Y'all don't have to follow the philosophy or ideology of every fucking NBA general manager. Sam Hinkie's plan was, wasn't that bright. He decided to lose as much as possible. Really, is that really that smart of an idea? Really? That's the guy you hold up so high? Get the fuck out of here, man. That shit is whack. Trash. Y'all have been trash the last couple of years. Ain't nothing exciting. The players that y'all keep touting keep getting injured. Now what? I'm more hyped about the Bucks than y'all. The Bucks actually have niggas that play. Even when one of or the other gets injured, there's this other guy right there. His name is Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's been the constant. He's been the guy that's been improving every single fucking year. I'm even more hyped about Porzingis, even though that owner is whack and trash. I care more about him than y'all, and y'all got plenty of young niggas. So what's up? What's up with y'all? That's all I gotta say about the 76ers. I'll talk. This is the only reaction I'll have, maybe, about their team until they actually start doing something serious. I think this new management that came through, Brian Colangelo, um, signing JJ Redick to their contract, is was very important because they actually have a sharpshooter that's healthy. Memphis. So I'm looking forward to that. That is a great, great signing. Fuck the Clippers. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for right now. Uh, maybe I'll talk about them later this year. You when know, when they, you know, when I see them start clicking together and shit like that, if they're healthy, that is. Fuck with you, boy gamer style eight oh eight. I'm out of here, man. Salute.